There's some npm packages out there that are very very strange, like for example meaning of life, which gives you the answer to everything, I guess. Today we look at five of those packages that get regularly used, but are actually very, very useless. <laughs> and in the end, I will give you one tool to protect your repository from those unused, useless packages. Let's get to the first package, and this is is odd. And yeah, returns true if the given number is odd, and that's actually all. And this has unbelievable 366,000 weekly downloads. I mean, what the hell? But yeah, let's look at it in the code. So we call this function, give it an integer, like let's say 23, and it should say false. No, it should say true, I'm, I'm dumb, but yeah, it's, it's really just saying true. And if I do 22, for example, we get false. And that's the whole thing. And this is used 366,000 times. Maybe some of you wonder why this is funny, but the actual thing is that you can do this really, really easy with very, very basic mathematical operations. Let's take the 23 and take the modulo operator. And then we can just ask something like this. And if we start that, we get false. So we need to do it like that actually. So now we get true. And if we take the 22, we get false. So this is a very, very easy method or a very, very easy way to replicate the same use of this package. But yeah, we don't want to use this package. We can just do it like that. So yeah, it's hard to determine if those 366,000 programmers should still be programmers. So the next package we have is, is 10,000. To be honest, this is just used 78 times a week. So okay, it's not, it's not so obvious. But if we take a look at this, is 10,000 and we're console logging is 10,000 and yeah, we do 10, 10, 10,000. I'm sorry, my TH is so bad. I'm not, I'm not native American or English, but we get true because it is 10,000. And yeah, if we just don't put in 10,000, then we get false. And yeah, this is basically the whole magic. Yeah. I mean, wh why not? Three years ago, maybe it was a hard time. Maybe people need to know that. What do we have for dependencies here? There are so many dependencies is zero, is thousand, is 13. Okay, yeah, shut up. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, 78 people really need that every week. So let's get to the next one. Yeah, I thought it couldn't get more simpler, but we have a package that is just called true. And uh, I really wonder why 1000 people are using it because everything it does is returns the Boolean value true. <laughs> so yeah, let's just console log out what we get here if we call true package. Yeah, we just get true. That's all. I mean, we can also get false here, I guess. Yeah, w what can I say? Okay, yeah, there's actually a package called false, which we can use to get <laughs> false. Yeah, I, I mean, okay. But why is this used 2,500 times a week? <sighs> I, can, I have no words for that. The next package is actually not not useless. It is called is Windows and it just returns true if the platform is Windows. Seems good. I mean, sometimes you really need that or maybe not only sometimes. So this is actually used 21 billion times a week. So there actually really is a use for that. The thing with those packages and why I say these are useless or dumb or I don't know, is you sometimes can do things like this very, very easily. And sometimes it's worth just taking a look into the code, what is done here. And then you should see just this one line, which checks is the process of platform is win32 and then it's windows and that's the whole magic of it. So yeah, instead of getting every package inside of your project, sometimes you should just think about, can I do this on my own? And do I really, really need a package for that? So. That's why I would say this is a dumb package, but let's test it very shortly. So I just go with is Windows and I get false because I'm on Mac, so this is working. I mean, it would be a bummer if this is not working because 21 million people depend every week on it, so it should work and it is working. But yeah, you don't need it actually. So if people are seeing this and using this, you don't have to just write this line on your own. Your whole project will thank you. And the last package. I know you're all waiting for the meaning of life and let's test out because 1,600 people ask this question themselves every week. So let's jump in code, import this meaning 
of life and I think this is a function as well. So what do we get? It is a error because this is maybe not a function. Or do I maybe have to put something in here? No, it's actually 42. I, I already thought about that, that it will be 42 because actually there is a book or I think there's also a film and there is a supercomputer and the supercomputer will be asked what is the answer of everything and it calls 42. So I already thought about that. But yeah, if you need the 42 in your project, maybe use meaning of life would be a funny way for that. And yeah, I told you there's one final tip. Do not overload your repository with all those unused packages. And yeah, there, there really is one tool and you can install it by saying depth check npm minus i, no, npm i minus g for installing it globally. And then you can just type in, go into your repository and type in npx dep check like that. I think so. And yeah, then we get the unused dependencies. Uh, for me, it is now is odd, is is odd. Oh, I didn't show you is is odd. Is is odd is actually just checking if the function you put inside is is odd. I'm sorry. Maybe it was good to not mention that. I, I, I'm sorry for that. But yeah, actually, it just gives you the unused dependencies and you can go into your package to JSON then and yeah, just get rid of them very easily. And yeah, this will give you a more clean project and actually a faster project because it gets smaller from the bundle size uh, type of way. But yeah, now we used a lot of packages here and I installed them with npm. But this is not the perfect way. And if you see what the perfect way is, I can I can whisper it to you, it is pnpm. But uh, yeah, do you want to see a video about that? What is pnpm and why is it a lot better than npm? Shout it in the comments. Thank you for watching this.